experiments are in a really exciting time in the social sciences and particularly in political science um, because they are becoming increasingly popular. We now have the Journal of Experimental Political Science um, and dozens of articles in top journals that are using experimental methods. Um, and so it's a really exciting time to learn this new skill set. Um, and it, at the basic core of, of experimental methodology is this idea that as social scientists and, and scientists in general, we often have these questions which require um, a, a, a causal understanding, a causal logic. And so we might want to know, does that ad affect attitudes? Is there a cause and effect? Um, just like a physicist would want to know uh, whether or not there are causal relationships between certain elements. We also want to know that as a political scientist. And so experimental methods help us get at causal relationships, causal effects, um, using experimental methodology. Um, not just causal relationships, but using experimental logic to understand uh, phenomena in political science is really helpful um, in reorienting the way we think about uh, relationships and, and um, political attitudes and vote choice and all these sorts of things that we really care about understanding more. Um, so it's an exciting time to learn about experimental methods, both in, 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 what, in terms of understanding and unpacking these black boxes, um, but and also in adding and lending and supplementing our observational research and our content analysis and our qualitative data as well.